Welcome to Travelgator. I'm going to jump right in and show how we can use the site to uh, plan a trip. Sign in, and I'm going to look for San Francisco. Always want to go there. So it pulls up the results, a few different uh, results, and let's go to the city, San Francisco. Scroll down, yep, lots of stuff to do there. I'm going to pick this. So let's start our new travel plan, San Fran 2007. Okay, now let's go to the let's go and see what to do in uh, San Francisco. Lots of attractions. So there's um, configurable attraction search, so I can say what I like. I'm not into nature for this trip. I'm going by myself, no family. Uh, maybe I want to see a little bit of nature and go. And it comes back with a bunch of stuff to do in San Francisco. So scroll down and uh, start picking. Chinatown. Definitely want to go to Chinatown. Add that to the travel plan. And um, what else? Fisherman's Wharf, heard that's cool. And while I'm out there, why not uh, get out of the town for a day or two and go see Napa Valley, go see some wine. Pick that, um, pick another one. Oh, museum, good, good. Definitely want to go see a museum. And add that to the plan, scroll down. Lots more. Now the site um, allows uh, people, uh, anyone, any user can add attractions. Uh, it's based on wiki technology. So the site's growing, the content is growing over time. And so a lot of this stuff was added by, uh, by Travelgator staff, and some of it was added by users. So pick a few more things. And maybe go check out the Presidio while I'm there. And that. And we're good. Should be good. So now let's go and see the travel plan. Um, you can see it's been added to my list here. And let's um, pick some dates. Where we're going to go. I'm going to go in November, November 20th. And let's stay the weekend. Come back on Monday. Uh, give a description. Um, this will, uh, if I share it with friends, this will uh, help people see what it's about. Let's get a quick one for now. And um, scroll down and tag it. Um, some other people are searching on culture and history stuff. Uh, they can find it. And that's it. I'll go over the trip contents and we'll see that um, all the stuff that I picked, I don't have any flights or accommodations yet, but all the uh, attractions I, I picked are in here. Um, and let's go and build a schedule, build an itinerary. So here we have all the attractions that I picked um, when I was browsing around, and um, all of them are unscheduled for now. And now I can just click and drag them um, into an itinerary. So let's I'm putting the first couple on the 21st, because I'll probably arrive on the 20th and not want to do anything. And um, then uh, let's take the Napa stuff. We'll go to Napa on the 22nd um, and uh, drag those over there. Um, and this is this is all uh, it's all Ajax technology, so it's all saving it as I go. So if my uh, browser crashes or something, when well in the middle of this, it, I don't lose any of this. And so um, Fisherman's Wharf and Presidio will be my, my day three. Um, and uh, hmm, nothing to do for the next couple of days. Let's move, um, let's move one of these over to the 24th. There we go. And uh, now let's, let's move um, Napa um, to the 23rd. I'm going to spend an, a night in Napa. There we go. Yeah, it's a good itinerary. Uh, we, have a, we have a dead day there. So um, let's go. Let's actually come back a day earlier. So. So instead of coming back on the Monday, I'll come back on Sunday. Perfect. One less day of vacation. Okay, and let's go down there. Much better. Much better. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go check out some hotels. So I'll click on accommodations under logistics. See what's in San Francisco. Uh, I'm not going to filter it yet. Just give me all you got. So 250 hotels. Let's narrow that down. I'm going to be a little picky on this trip. Five star hotel for me. Scroll down, lots of them here. Um, but let's pick the cliff. I've heard good things about that. So here we are, pulls up the hotel profile, Ooh, lots of pictures. Let's look at this. Looks very swanky. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. This is good. So, yeah, arrive on the 22nd, 20th. And we're going to stay through the 22nd, because after that we're going to Napa. And uh, pops up an Expedia window, 149 bucks a night. It's good. Um, okay, let's uh, add that to the travel plan. Good. Go back to the 
plans, and the itinerary, and there it is, Clift Hotel. So let's stick it on the 20th, because that's when we're going to be arriving. And let's check it out where it is. It's right downtown San Francisco. And close to all the good stuff to do down there, right next to Union Square. Perfect. OK, let's, uh, let's share this plan uh, before I forget so my friends can see it and uh, give them a quick little uh, descriptions. Um, a little culture, food, wine. And uh, just set the checkboxes so everyone can see it and also um, let people add stuff to my itinerary. Save. Good. OK. Now let's see if there's anyone else has a travel plan out there for San Francisco. Search on San Francisco. And oop, there is one. Let's go have a look at it. Friend, my friend Colin did it. Colin's one of our uh, Travel Gator people. Um, and here he is. Looks like he's uh, looks like he's already done the Napa thing. Um, has a couple of good uh, inns picked out. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ooh, very nice. And let's go down, and he's got his itinerary picked out, planned out, and everything. This looks, this looks really good. This looks really good. Okay. Oh, he even went surfing. Excellent. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this. Uh, I like this. Uh, maybe I'll just ditch my plan entirely and just work off of his. So I'll name it. And hit copy. And here I am. And I'll click there on the schedule. And here it is. Everything's all. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Let's look at flights. And flights, New York City, on the first day on the 20th when we want to fly out and come. To San Francisco and come back on uh, the 25th, oh, 26th. Uh, and I can pick which partner, um, sidestep Travelocity. Um, let's work with Travelocity on this one, see what Travelocity has. Check rates. And off it goes, pops up the Travelocity thing, search for flights and so on. And everyone knows what Travelocity looks like, so let's go back and uh, Look at a few more things here. Um, I'm going to add this flight to the travel plan. And so don't forget. And uh, let's see, there's also some national parks I can look at. Let's look at check out restaurants. Um, click on restaurants, and we have bunches of bunches here. And um, scroll down. Oh, I've heard good things about this one. Uh, Albon is good. Click on that, and I can actually go and book a table uh, using a popping an open table window. So back to the home page. So that that's, uh, gives you a, hopefully gives you a bit of an idea what you can do um, put together your own uh, travel plans. Uh, a few other things on the home page. You can um, you can search for attractions straight off of the home page. You can uh, check out some other other people's profiles, what, what uh, where they've traveled to, their travel plans, what reviews they've left, and so on.